Hello everyone. My name is Casey Johnson. I am a certified occupational therapy assistant. I am with the MOT program at UT Tyler. And today I am going to show y'all how to make a do-it-yourself stress ball. For this activity, there are many reasons why you might want to make a stress ball at home. You can use this activity for a coping skill as a coping strategy. You can use this do-it-yourself stress ball as a fidget. Uh, it's used for many sensory regulations for those that need that stimulus, stimuli to help calm themselves down. They'll use it to help regulate their senses. And it's also an activity that you can do for the sensory component of making the actual stress ball. And that is what I'm going to share with you today. So for this activity of making a stress ball at home or at work or wherever you may be, the ingredients you will need is an empty water bottle, some saline solution, some food coloring, some Elmer's glue, the white kind preferably, any color balloon, and you will need some stockings. You can also use um, what like oranges come in, what they, um, the net that they come in, or you can use pantyhose stocking that have the holes in them. And you'll also need scissors to cut the paper. You can use a funnel for this activity to make it cleaner and not such a mess, or you can just pour your ingredients into the bottle. Sometimes for a sensory activity, you might want it to be messy to get the full effect. But for this, I'm going to use a funnel. So you're gonna take your glue and you're going to pour it in the funnel. I kind of measure this with my eyes. I usually will fill it up to the top of the green label. If you have a bigger bottle, you're probably not gonna need to fill that up to the top label. I would say maybe halfway in an eight ounce bottle, but or this is an eight ounce, so for a 16 ounce bottle. But for this one, I'm not gonna make a very big stress fall. So we'll just, fill it up to the label. Once you finish putting the glue in your bottle, you can just lay the funnel to the side. That's really the only thing that I use the funnel for. You can use it for the saline solution too if you want, but I don't use it for that. So then you're just gonna squirt in your saline solution. I would say about one fourth of a cup. I'm eyeballing this, but I would say about one fourth of a cup. From here, so you can see it's filled up to about right here with this line. You're going to take your food coloring. I think I'm going to pick red. You can pick whatever color you want. You're going to put a few drops of that into your bottle. Then you're gonna put the lid on the bottle really well. Make sure it's super tight because we don't want this to get out. And you're going to shake the bottle. Now this is kind of a difficult task 
because it's glue, so it makes shaking really hard. But you're gonna really, really, really shake your bottle until it's all mixed up. So see how the bottom's not mixed up yet? Yeah, I'm gonna keep shaking this until it's completely mixed up. You can bang it on the table if you would like. You can turn it in your hand. Switch hands, take a break if you need to, in between shaking. Make sure that gets all mixed up really, really, really good. Okay, so I think that's about as good as I'm gonna get it. So once you do that, you're gonna take your balloon and you're gonna pick the color. I think I'm gonna choose yellow because I really want the slime that we just created to show when you squeeze the balloon through. So I'm gonna take the lid off. You're gonna put your balloon over the top of your water bottle. Now this is the messy part. So if you don't wanna get the countertop or whatever is messy, then you can go to the sink. So let So now that we're here, I'm gonna turn my bottle upside down and I'm gonna squeeze all of the slime into the balloon. And once I'm done with that, and see it's super messy, but super fun, we're gonna squeeze this. Now here is where you might wanna turn the water on and rinse this off before you tighten your balloon. So I'm gonna rinse all this slime off me. I'm still holding the balloon, I'm pinching it tight. I'm gonna rinse all the glue off of me so that way when I tie my balloon, I don't open it and let all the slime out. I'm gonna rinse all this off, still pinching my balloon. I'm going to take the balloon and I'm going to tie it off. Okay. I'm going to rinse it off under the water and then I'm going to head back over to my setup on the counter. So now that we're back at our workspace, our craft area, gonna dry off the balloon so here it is kind of a pinkish color the next step I'm gonna set this to the side because the next step I want to do is take my pantyhose <clears throat> so I'm gonna take the end this has already been used before for this so I want to wrap it around my balloon full of slime and tie it off at the end If you want to snip the end so that it doesn't look like this, you can. And then I'm going to take the other end and I'm going to tie that off before I cut it. Just to make sure that I have enough fabric before cutting it off. So we're going to pull all that through. Make it super tight. And then you're going to trim the other end. Once that's finished, you have a do-it-yourself stress ball. And this is what it should look like. Hopefully this activity will help you. If you have any... If you need emotional regulation, this would be a good activity to do. Or if you're upset or you have had a bad day, this would be a good thing to utilize to help get that stress out on something. Thank you for watching the video with me today and I hope you have a wonderful day.